So the two most important theorems of vector calculus are the uh, divergence theorem and Stokes theorem. Stokes theorem is the three-dimensional generalization of Green's theorem, which I discussed in the last video. So how do we generalize Green's theorem to uh, three dimensions? I mentioned that this du2 dx minus du1 dy looks like a curl. In fact, um, du2 dx minus du1 dy is the curl of u, but it's the third component, so dotted into the unit vector in the z direction. Okay? In order to get uh, del cross u dot k here, then we should define a ds vector will need to be this k times uh, d s scalar times the surface area, okay? Um, finally, this u1 dx plus u2 dy is simply u vector dot dr. Uh, putting everything together, we end up with the integral over the surface of del cross u dotted now into ds, right? And that's equal to the integral over the closed curve of u dot dr. And that's Stokes' theorem, okay? Uh, the generalization of Green's theorem to three dimensions. Um, I won't prove it here, but we can see that this three-dimensional version just reduces to Green's theorem in two dimensions. But then this one is valid in uh, three-dimensional space. So U is a vector field in three dimensions. This is the curl. We're dotted in, into the, we have a, um, some surface, not a closed surface like in the divergence theorem, but uh, an open surface. Where, where it's bounded then by a curve. So there's a curve and then there's a surface. So in two dimensions we have a curve and the inside is the surface. So now the surface can be three-dimensional, but then it has a lip which, which corresponds to the curve. So the integral of del cross u dot ds on the surface is equal to the integral over that lip, that curve, u dot dr. So there's one technicality here that you have to be aware of. Um, it's easy to see it in this rectangle, so let's look at the rectangle. Uh, the curve here is a directional curve. The surface is the inside. So the question then is how do you determine uh, which direction k is in here? So k can be uh, coming out of the the screen or going into the screen, so you have to choose which one. Um, here, del cross u, uh, k is uh, x i cross j k, so the k direction here is coming out of your screen, right? You use the uh, right hand rule, my right hand, you put your fingers in the i direction and cross it into the j direction. So the k direction then is coming out of the screen. Um, so that means ds then has to be coming out of the screen. Another way of doing that in general is that you move your fingers along the curve direction. So the curve is going here and up. And you curl your right hand, your fingers in the direction of the curve and then the normal vector to the surface points in the direction of your thumb. So here it's coming out of the glass. So that's a, a very important point in order to get the signs correct in this expression. And it relates to the definition of the curl in terms of the right-hand rule.
Okay, so let me uh, review. All I'm doing in this video then is pulling Green's theorem from the xy plane and showing you how to rewrite that so it would be valid in a three-dimensional uh, setting. Okay, we're not actually proving Stokes' theorem, but I'm showing you what Stokes' theorem would have to be if we generalize Green's theorem. I'm Jeff Chasnov. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.